Hey, champ. This is it. This is what I dreamed about. I never knew it was going to be a knock back then when I started dreaming about these things, but, you know, I was a great player in high school. I was one of the best. College, same thing. And I just wanted to carry that over to the pros. And it was just always focusing on what it took to make sure I was on top of my game and one of the best in the game. For one of the most dominant defensive backs in NFL history, everything has come full circle. Hey, this on the beginning, fellas. Atlanta is where Champ Bailey became the first Broncos defensive player elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Champ Bailey. But about an hour away at the University of Georgia is where Champ became Champ. He could walk in any room and he knew Champ was there and, and he, he just exuded that kind of feeling that he was going to be successful. Just a special guy, easily the best guy I ever coached. Bailey, already a Dogs fan, was a prep standout at Charlton County High School in Folkston, Georgia, a small town near the border of Florida, a rural area, and a recruiting hotbed. When I got here, one of the first things I did was go down to watch and play a high school basketball game. And right when we walked in the gym, the first thing I saw were about six or seven other coaches sitting over there, which that's the way it is, you know, you're gonna have to go against them. And you're standing there in the end, right there walking in the place and they have the opening tip and Champ caught the ball and went and slammed it from about 10 feet, looked like Michael Jordan. And I said, well, any question which one Champ is right off the bat. So that's the first time I ever saw him. You know, he was his first year and he wanted to make sure he solidified commitments from the top recruits and I was one of them. And he came down to the house and it was, I mean, it was on from there. University of Florida was recruiting me extremely hard and the phone kept ringing. And, uh, you know, sometimes coaches know you're there and, and uh, they try to disrupt the recruiting process a little bit. And it was Coach Spurrier, I didn't know at the time, but it rang about three times. So finally, the last time, Ms. Bailey just picked up the phone and said, Coach Spurrier, this is Ms. Bailey, and I just want to tell you, you're worrying me, and I'm going to tell you right now, Champ's going to Georgia. Well, that's the first I'd heard of. Of course, I jumped up and grabbed his hand and everything, but that's, that's one of the best commitments I ever had while Steve Spurrier was on the other line. I mean, one thing he told me is he would allow me to do basically whatever I wanted. I mean, I did everything in high school. I didn't expect to do everything when I got there, but he did not lie. When I got there, he let me do whatever I wanted. <laughs> so. It was amazing because I got to play all the positions I wanted to play. Here at Sanford Stadium, between the hedges, is where Champ Bailey first became a star. In addition to being a lockdown cornerback, he also caught 47 passes for more than 700 yards his final season in Athens. For UT, short drop, Martin throws, intercepted by Champ Bailey. We played a game over at Auburn. A night game, I think it was an ESPN game. The trainer kept coming over and said, Coach said, Champ's getting close to 100 plays here now. You gotta watch him, you know? A lot of plays, that, that was just a good example of what I did every week. I told Champ, I said, hey Champ, we need to, we really need to probably cut you back a little bit on offense because he was playing on special teams and playing every snap on defense. He said, Coach, don't take me out. I said, I'm ready to go. So, you know, there was a point where I got so tired, you know, I would start cramping and then I had to adjust my preparation. I had to get IV before the game and possibly at halftime. So there was a little bit of adjusting there, but you know, it worked out eventually. Champ's hard work paid off in 1998. He was first team All-American and won the Nagurski Award as the nation's most outstanding defensive player. Bailey's Bulldog legend continued to grow at his pro day in front of NFL scouts. They said, well, we want you to run the 40. You know, we want to get a couple times on. He said, I'm not going to run it but once. And he knew he'd had everybody around him there for a couple hours, weighing, measuring, jumping, talking to him, interviewing. And he ran the 40 and ran right out of the building. You know, he said, I'm tired of this, I'm leaving. Nobody even saw him, just showed you his tail lights and ran right out. It was great. If you got a good time, live with it, you know. I really couldn't get any better. And actually, nobody really knew back then, but I got slower the more I ran. So I figured I better just get my best time out of the way 
If I ran a 4-2, don't come back and run a 4-3. <laughs> you know, so just stick with the best time. If you just left. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Bailey blasted up the draft boards and was picked seventh overall in 1999. Turns out Georgia was just the beginning. He played 15 seasons in the NFL and was selected to 12 Pro Bowls, the third most ever by a defensive player. Look, we got one more. One more, baby. We got one more game. One more. Everything we got, just like the day. Everything we got. Damn right. Hey. Finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. Champ was named to the 2000s NFL All-Decade Team, and now he'll live on in football immortality in Canton. One thing I didn't do is get caught up in the moment too much, and I think that's why I was able to continue success for a longer period of time, is I never got caught up in what I was doing at the moment. It was always about how I could get better and be better next week, and just keep my nose down and just work tackling. Man-to-man -man coverage, bump and run, playoff, it doesn't matter. Zone coverage, man, it, it, it really didn't matter. You know, I wanted to be great at all of it, and I felt like I did the best I could, which turned out to be a pretty excellent uh, <laughs> book of work. Oh, this is my mom. Please. Come on, mom, let me give me some of that. Come on, give me some of that. Mom, you got a Hall of Famer for a son. Oh.